Kamaru Usman suffered a stunning defeat at the hands of Leon Edwards and vowed revenge. Leon Edwards landed a head kick on Kamaru Usman, knocking him out in the fifth round of last Saturday's UFC 278 main event. In doing so, Edwards became the UFC welterweight champion, taking the title from Usman. Following the fight, Usman issued his first statement on social media after being taken to a local hospital for precautionary reasons. He said, Champ Seth, up sometimes, but we bounce back and come with vengeance. Usman's defeat was shocking, as the former champion was ahead on all scorecards. After his initial statement, Usman took to Twitter to congratulate his opponent. Damn, I love this sport. Things happen, but Alham to Lila we move. Congratulations, tagging Leon Edwards. Usman has shown himself ready to face his rival for the third time. However, it is still too early to decide when the fight will happen since he will need some time to recover. Dana White thinks Kamaru Usman fought the perfect fight until he got caught by Leon Edwards. The main event of UFC 278 left many spectators stunned after Leon Edwards shocked the world with a surprising kick that finished his opponent. Everything seemed to indicate that Kamaru Usman would successfully defend his welterweight title for the sixth time. However, the Jamaican managed to turn the fight around at the last second and get the victory. White states, you think of everything that was on the line for Usman tonight, and Usman fought with absolute and total confidence all night. He fought the perfect fight. It might not be the most fan-friendly style, but he was landing big shots to the body, big shots to the head, elbows. Couldn't have fought a more perfect fight until the last minute. Uh, I thought that Usman fought the perfect fight. And uh, it was crazy because I was listening to the commentary and Rogan and Anik and, and, uh, and DC were dead on with everything that they were saying on, on what uh, Edwards needed to do and what he should be doing. And as soon as they were saying it, literally lands the head kick. And uh, yeah. It's kind of hard to contextualize like the, the entire history of the UFC in one moment, but is that one of the most shocking finishes to a title fight that you ever remember? Yeah, I mean, you think of everything that was on the line for Usman tonight and you know, and Usman fought with absolute and total confidence all night. Fought the perfect fight, you know, might not be the most fan-friendly, you know, uh, style, but he was landing big shots to the body, big shots to the head, elbows, um, you know, couldn't have fought a more perfect fight till the last minute. Usman's defeat reaffirmed White's theory that in the world of the UFC, anything is possible and that all fighters have an equal chance of claiming victory. John Jones keeps his octagon return promise with UFC 282. After much anticipation, the man widely regarded as the UFC's GOAT, alongside George St. Pierre and Khabib Nurmagomedov, will finally hold true to his promise to fight in the heavyweight division. For many years, John Jones dominated the light heavyweight division and was bored of defending his title against any opponent he faced. This earned him the record for the UFC fighter with the most title defenses in the sport's history alongside Demetrius Johnson. For that reason, Jones promised to move up a division and try to win the heavyweight belt, meaning he needed to move up not only in weight, but also in strength and muscle mass. Although the announcement has not been made official, John Jones is already dropping hints. T-Mobile Arena will host UFC 282 in Las Vegas on December 10th and Jones tweeted he will likely be part of that main card. Apparently, he could face former heavyweight champion Stipe Miocic. This could pose quite a challenge for Jones and bring us a great fight to watch. Conor McGregor has mocked Kamaru Usman for being knocked out by Leon Edwards. Conor McGregor took the opportunity to generate controversy and mock Usman after former welterweight champion Usman suffered a terrible defeat at the hands of Leon Edwards. Moments after Usman was knocked out, the Irishman wrote ha 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 on his social media. He added, Usman gonna come out saying he from Pluto after that smack ha ha, Marty Green Pants from Pluto. Gishi says he believes Islam Makachev won't dominate Charles Oliveira. Justin Gishi doesn't have an official pick for the UFC 280 main event between Charles Oliveira and Islam Makachev. However, he doesn't believe Makachev can dominate Oliveira in any way. After Gaishi attended Saturday's UFC 278 event in Salt Lake City, 
he was asked to give his thoughts on the fight between Makachev and his most recent opponent. The American responded to reporters, I'm 100% confident that Islam will not dominate Charles, and that's about it. I don't know how to explain it, it's just the way that I feel. The last time I fought, I stepped in there with Oliveira, there's no way. It's going to be a great fight. I wish I was there, I wish it wasn't in Abu Dhabi so I can be there, but we're all in for a treat. I don't know, I think, um, I think Charles is going to move forward, I don't see, you know, Islam's going to try, and eventually he might be successful, and if he is, he'll win, uh, but I don't see, you know, I don't see him tiring him out, If even if he takes him down for the first two rounds, I don't see Charles being, um, getting submitted, and I don't see him being too exhausted to continue to fight the fight that he needs to fight, um, so, it's just what I think, I mean, UFC 278 Highlights Justin Gaethje described what it's like to be hit by Charles Oliveira during the UFC 278 press conference. He said, it was a feeling I've never felt. Usually, you get hit. Call it a buzz. Call it a flash. This was more like my tongue just went on a super powerful battery. My entire body. It was crazy. I think after the fight, the cameras picked you up saying, like, you hit really hard when you guys were both in the octagon. So did that catch you yeah. off guard that how powerful and crispy strike it was? Yeah, I mean, it's a feeling. You know, it was a feeling I've never felt. You know, usually you get hit, call it a buzz, um, call it a flash. You know, this is more like my tongue just went on a super powerful battery. And just my entire body it was crazy. So, uh, yeah, it was perfect shots, you know, perfect time one or the other and yeah it was the factors that I, I faced that night let's now make a quick summary of all the fights of last saturday leon edwards defeated kamaru usman via fifth round knockout with a head kick paulo costa defeated luke rockhold via unanimous decision 30 to 27 30 to 27 30 to 27. mayrab valishvili also defeated jose aldo via unanimous decision 29 to 28 29 to 28, 30 to 27. Lucy Pudilovo won his battle against Wu Yanin via second round TKO. Tyson Pedro fought his way to victory and defeated Harry Hunsucker by TKO in the first round with punches. That's all for today, folks. If you want to know the latest UFC news, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell, and click the like button so you don't miss any details about the upcoming fights. Thanks for watching. See you soon.